Hello again. Do you remember starting from chapter 2, 3 and down chapter 4 whenever we configure or add or change something in a switch or a router there is a message that automatically and sometimes immediately appears after we just hit a command, a new command like in OSPF when you advertise your networks you wait for 5 to 10 seconds and you will find that SNMP adjacency is change change state state changed from loading to full or can only of course you can remember that whenever i do a no shutdown i will immediately receive a message that fast ethernet 00 change state from administratively down to up remember this all of these messages that, that do always show are called system loggings and they are shortcut for with syslog okay because these makes you stay aware of everything it's not made for telling you that there is a problem with the device there is a high temperature the device is about to reboot the cpu is almost full no it will tell you everything system loggings in cisco is made to inform you about everything starting from a beautiful small notification or a debug message up to the emergency and alert messages that might get your device like in the down state in the upcoming maybe 10 or 30 seconds so SNMP messages, I'm sorry, syslog messages is all, all about to know all what's happening behind the scenes in, the, in your device or even in front of you because in front of you what I mean is that those messages that I have just mentioned like uh, interface fast ethernet change state from down to up or from administratively down to up or SPF adjacency became from loading to full and etc. These messages that you have mostly noticed while you are, you are working on router or switch in the Cisco network devices but it starts from obvious, inf obvious information up to emergencies that I have just talked about. Syslog works in server client relationship what happened to obtain the syslog actually it's not really required to have a server or client because what happens is that cisco devices routers and switches by default do comes with syslog protocol enabled inside the device which what makes you see these messages while you are working see these notifications while you are working okay so some notifications and adjacency information do appear to you while you are working but the problem is that the memory of the device is not set to keep these forever or for years maybe these messages it will be erased every duration amount of duration that you can manually specify or leave it maybe every month it will be entirely deleted this is not also good and yet you need some central point of management to check all the SNMP messages and to store the I'm sorry not SNMP the syslog messages and to store all the system messages of your devices or the entire network in one point in one place so you can grab and buy a server actually you can just buy a server and you can connect your server to the network to the entire network and thus you will inform all your devices that you should become an syslog clients okay and connect them with the syslog server which is this server known also just like snmp syslog do require to install a specific software in the server and those softwares can be either the syslog software which is a company that had produced a syslog software called syslog just as classic as that there is also siplunk you can buy and install siplunk also there is a third company i have forgotten to write here which is kiwi is also a well-known and old company for creating syslog softwares to install it here the good thing is this you can also monitor your devices from here not just using snmp for monitoring you can also monitor your networks using syslog because you can see the central point of a view of syslog on this server specific server on its screen and you can notice what's happening in the network and just in case there were any emergencies or alert messages that i will talk about them in a minute then you will find them and you can read them maybe softwares will color them in red because once you see it oh god there's an emergency in some device which device is the device with this name and this ip address immediately go to the device and check it okay so we can use syslog for monitoring but 
using i believe most companies prefer using snmp for monitoring so it's long for troubleshooting that when we see something happening through the snmp window for like prtg program or software then immediately go inside the device or from the syslog message server and display the entire specific detailed messages about everything happening in every second okay maybe for the past hour day week or a year this is the good thing about snmp uh, syslog server sorry is that you can store huge amount of data for years for all your devices and store them without lost okay but for the router itself it can store for store the same information for a long period of time it will be deleted after a short period of time so this is how it's done the client is the one generating the logs of course we are collecting the logs of the routers and switchers in my network so these are the net clients called these are the ones generating the logs the messages that i'm talking about have numbers and have names depends on how important or critical they are and their function or maybe their impact on my network okay so they start from the minimum which is message num number seven that has the name of debug this doesn't show by default you must do manually start a debug in your network what would debug do is that let's take ospf as an example you remember an ospf you do, do you do just uh, create ospf process id one and advertise maybe one two or three networks and after you do the same thing on the up the other side or of the network the other router for after a few seconds after seconds of that i'm sorry you will receive a notification message that adjacency is happening between the two routers and now it's up you will receive maybe one or two message that's it when debugging when enabling debug in your device like typing the command debug ospf adjacency or debug ospf and hitting enter you will see the detailed tens of messages of the negotiation process the entire negotiation hidden process between r1 or 2 starting from the down state that i've talked about in the ospf previously or up to the full state between both of them okay even if the negotiation of the dr pdr master slave relationship all of these will be shown to you so debug is annoying actually and you do consume some of the resources of the router or switch because it's showing you instead of one message it will start to generate maybe 50 or 100 message because it's showing you behind the scenes what's happening really so you can start debug or do undebug to shut it down but the snmp server that you know will by default record everything or you can just manually specify to record everything starting from message number seven which is debug up to the message number zero so message number seven is debug message number six is informational for some information simple information message number five are for notification like adjacency is up some interface is up also number four is for warning watch out there is something happening but shouldn't be really critical or impacting number three for error this mostly you will see it in layer one technologies troubleshooting like a miscorrect sfp incorrect sfp insertion unsupported sfp insertion uh, some incorrect copper cable cabling or rj45 trouble you will see errors there critical are for something like flap or maybe increased in cpu utilization also as alert and emergency are related for some very high flapping for some protocol or process or physical flap also for some high cpu utilization and maybe high card util cpu utilization maybe one of the cards of your device are suffering from maybe 99 percent of cpu utilization not all the device but maybe only one card and by card i mean when you have the one rack unit simple router that we are using spectracer this doesn't have cards but later on just if you remember the image that i have attached of routers in chapter one there are routers like have a height of 50 or maybe maybe 70 centimeters okay and it's con consistent of contains this multiple cards inside it so even one card of them might for some reason or some software or hardware troubles will have a high cpu 
utilization so this will be show as critical or alert emergency are things that show messages shown at maybe you will be fast enough to know what's happening or maybe the device will go down and you have to enter it locally but the good thing and important thing is that to connect always connect your devices to the syslog because to the syslog server just because if your devices went down you can at least check the last package of messages that was sent from it to the server through the window of the server okay so my device is down and maybe i need to send a technician to the site locally to the site and connect a console cable to the device to check what's happening but meanwhile i can have some diagnosing or troubleshooting by checking the last package of messages that this device sent to the syslog server before it went down before it goes down okay so this is only the concept of syslog and the applications that you can use and you you will use in your network administration to monitor your devices there is a quote that i've been using since i was studying a ccna from the beginning to now and i really liked it i found it sometime on the internet this quote helps you to memorize the names of the messages because you will be asked for them in the exam this is something for sure the exam will ask you message number five is which one or the critical has which number or please assign or organize the messages showing down as per order starting from the most critical up to down to the less critical of them so you have to know and memorize them to know that there is a quote in here that will help you in memorizing the names of the messages the first the quote says that every awesome Cisco engineer you can read it clearly will need ice cream daily will it for me I think yes it was chocolate and mint i will need it every day okay so dark chocolate so anyway this quote have eight words each word of them its first letter refers to the name of the message so e is for emergency a is for alert c is for critical e again is for error w is for warning n is for notification i for information and lastly d, d not day D for debug so you can see now that this quote is much easier to know or memorize after that taking every first letter of every word will help you much more memorize the sequence or the order of this messages maybe you don't get conflict which emergency was before alert or it was after alert and using this quote will I hope it will help you as much as it did help me did very much I never forget it the quote and the order of the messages after that so this is syslog for you no config at all for syslog and SNMP in the new CCNA exam also for the past previous one it's for network administration from other side some extra config will be applied in the CCMP and all this is all the concept you need to know about uh, syslog or system logging I hope it was clear just in case it wasn't you know what to do to comment down below in the video also to subscribe our channel just in case you haven't so far liking the video would also be good for us thank you for watching and hope to see you in the upcoming subjects of chapter 4 goodbye